How have you developed personally and professionally during the pandemic? Example answer to this difficult interview question will be given by the end and tips on how to answer this question correctly and also further resources to help you succeed in your dream. Hi, I'm Ruth and I help aspirants simplify the complicated cabin crew interviews. Before we start, I want to invite you to my freebie on the links below. I have 10 cabin crew interview questions and sample answers. I listed out the 10 most commonly asked and the sample answers as well as explanations on why those are your answers. Okay, so get it now at misscakeris.com. And I will also put it on the description box for your easy access. Right. So the question is, how have you developed during the pandemic, both personally and professionally? Employers are always looking for hiring people who are creative, solutions-oriented. They want to know that you can make the most out of a bad situation. Interviewers will also want to know how you personally coped with the pandemic and the challenges they presented to you. Be honest about the roller coaster journey that you might have, and trust is earned with vulnerability and stories that you share during the interview. Show that you are only human and a future colleague that they may relate to. A simple way for sharing stories or a technique that you can use when you are going to answer this question is using the acronym C A R or CAR. C stands for challenge, A stands for action, and R stands for result. So this is how you are going to tell your story. First, state what is the challenge, personally or professionally. And then go to A, list down or say enumerate the actions that you have taken to face the challenge. And finally, R, result, say the result that has come out of the actions that you have taken. But beware of one thing. While honesty is encouraged, it is also important to keep some challenges private, especially when you involve previous employers. No matter how unsatisfactory your ex-employer's response to COVID-19 pandemic is, you should never share how you feel about it to your new potential employer. Even if you have good intentions, your interviewer will develop a negative perception of you and would not prefer to hire you to protect the organizational culture. Speaking of employers, a commonly asked question is why do you want to work for our airline? I have a video tutorial here on the cards or on the description box to answer this question as well. And that is a classic question, guys. So I will put it there for you to watch after this video. If you have reached this part of the video, we have covered so far why the recruiters are asking you this pandemic-related question and what are the things to avoid when answering this question, a simple acronym that would help you guide your answer, and stick until the end of the video where I will share with you a sample answer to this question. If my content has been helpful to you and your cabin crew journey, please let me know by liking this video or leaving a review on the podcast if you are listening over there or like our Facebook page if you are watching over Facebook. That really helps me out a lot and you have no idea. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. So here we go. This is my sample answer to this question. As we all know, the pandemic has been very challenging for everyone. I have dealt with these challenges both in my personal and professional life. On my personal challenge, I have dealt with a lot of loss. I lost my uncle and a dear friend from my childhood during the pandemic and it has been very devastating for all of us. This made me value life more, be more conscious of how I take good care of my health. So I started changing my eating habits. I started getting enough sleep and took up a new sport for my exercise activity. And the result of these actions is that I can never take back what we lost, of course. But the best thing we can do for now is keep the stories alive, learn from our loved ones, and try to move on 
with a better version of ourselves. And that is why since pandemic, I have lost a few pounds. I have learned a new sport, which is tennis. And I really appreciate life more by being more active and be with nature as much as I can. On a professional level, my challenge has been the restrictions and I had to be working from home during the pandemic. And it has been hard for me to adjust as I tend to overwork and overdo everything since I'm just at home with my laptop and it's accessible all the time. So what I had to learn is I had to learn to keep a work-life balance. So what I did is I started implementing routines for my work routine. I would change into work clothes even though I'm just staying at home and when the work day is over, I would change back to my comfortable lounge wear. By doing this, I'm able to really organize myself into focusing on work if it's time to work and then winding down by the end of the day when the work day is done. The result of these actions that I have taken is that I have become more efficient in managing my work-life balance. I have avoided a lot of burnout that happened during the pandemic and that way I am more productive and happy with the job that I'm doing. If you are curious to the different types of cabin crew questions that they may ask you during your cabin crew interview, I have a full video tutorial on this on the three types of questions that you need to prepare before going for your cabin crew interview. In the comments below, please also share if you, if how you would answer this question. And I will help you out to improve your answer for free. So go ahead and have fun in the comment section. Next Monday, I will be doing an interview tutorial for the question, what you have learned about yourself during the pandemic, where I would have some pointers and sample answers. In the meantime, I would recommend for you to check out my other video which I did last week, my flight attendant journey, the questions I got asked edition. So basically, I will be sharing with you the different questions I, I have experienced applying to different airlines. And these are Qatar Airways, Cebu Pacific, Air Asia, Saudi, PAL, PAL Express, and the list goes on and on. It will be right on the screen right now, so make sure to click on it and I will fly with you soon.